And good morning everyone. PSEI set to test the resistances again. Ganda ng bounce ng market yesterday. Um, PSEI closed at let me just open my chart just to be sure 8078 and papunta naman tayo sa 8100. Pabalik tayo doon. Um looking well, looking well. The market's looking well. Good morning, good morning everyone. Um sentya na ng ina ng puta ko. Quiet. Eh, nagugutom na siguro. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Um, E-Toro, international market. Um, we had two entries yesterday and I closed out the trade with around more than 8% gains uh, for the for the, for the the position. So, congratulations sa mga nakapag-copy trade. We are doing well for our July month and we opened new positions yesterday. Teka lang. Um, close ko lang ang door ko. Sorry about that. I think na po sa ako. Nagugutom yata. Right. Pares na wala pang kain. <laughs> Mamaya na. Right. Um, ayan. Um, if you want to check out your eToro, our eToro, ano, our eToro portfolio. Um, these are our positions right now. Uh, yesterday, we entered Facebook and already gained 1.29%. And that's the beauty of the pending order. At yung sinasabi ko sa iyo. Kagabi, mayroon akong kameeting, um, while I was talking, I was presenting to him eToro also. And suddenly, while we were looking at my portfolio, biglang may lumabas na Facebook. Uy, nagpumasok bala si Facebook. So while talking to people, um, you uh, while doing something, you can still enter the stock using pending order. At yung tinuro ko sa inyo na, when, um, just put a rate, and then pag nag-break out, automatically siya makapasok. We'll review that later on. Right? Um, pumasok din tayo kay Dropbox nakaabang rin ako on the breakout and pumasok siya sa breakout so so far so good our positions are doing well took profits yesterday GBPUSD is recovering so uh, maganda naman yung pasok natin we're still at support and also Dropbox um, AGNC and Dell si Dell nakapag recover yesterday so yes nag, nag green na siya right so looking well yung positions natin for for eToro um, PSE we have a few picks for this day um, Kodpi lang, still the market is at resistance levels, so kaya hindi gaanong um, maganda, mag, uh, mag aggressive today. Alright, let me just turn on the uh, turn off the volume, right? And then I'll go to your comments now, All right? Carlo Tringan, good morning, Poro Nufo Fresas, may buntag, Bullen Bear, good day, Francis Kier, Pandes, good morning po, Tabs, good morning. Pinas, right? Good morning, Pinas. G Martinez, good morning. Nanette Mail, good morning. Lucky Thursday po. Uh, Red Cap, 21. 
Good morning, Winston Asinto. Morning then. Winston Asinto, any picks for international market for today? Si Facebook, pwede bang pasukin? Si Dropbox, kaka-open lang na entry. Actually, yung mga pinasukan ko are still on the support levels. You check out my portfolio. Those are still at the support levels. Those are still good to enter. Um, yun po yung recommend ko for today because I entered them. Um, Netflix, nag-aabang ako ng breakout kay Netflix. Right? Uh, under Desaya. <laughs> under Desaya. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And like uh, Aba po, uh, Fen Green Tech and Vulcan. Let's check out the charts along the way while you are uh, requesting it para fresh pa. Um, Aba, si Aba, very good bounce yesterday. We just talked about MA20 yesterday and look at where the price bounced, right? That's why we were talking about MA20 yesterday. Sabi sa inyo, abangan niyo sa MA20. And there it is at MA20. Kaka, kaka, we just discussed about this, right? And there is the entry point. Get in your ME20 as much as you can para naman po worth it yung risk to reward ratio nyo. Kasi pag dito kayo pumasok, napakaliit lang ng risk nyo, napakataas pa ng reward proportion ninyo. So the moment it is here already, tingnan nyo po ang risk ninyo and reward ratio. Right, that's the resistance right there. So mas malaki pa ang risk ninyo ngayon kaysa sa reward ninyo. So I cannot recommend ABA anymore. Dapat doon sa ME20 nung nag-touch sa ME20. Uh, right for ABBA. Finn. Si Finn, no? very good move for Finn. All right, it's been three days na green na si Finn. This is something good for Finn. Um, the challenging part here is that we have resistances right here. Kaya medyo mahirap po i-recommend si Finn talaga. Maybe it will, if it will confirm a uh, support soon, pull back, and then bounce, that will be the best entry. Kung hindi po tayo bibigyan yan, I cannot recommend it, right? Um, hirap ng entry point ni Fen eh. it it gave us a volatile move down and then just suddenly recovered so mahirap po sa liuin niya mga ganyan I cannot recommend Fen also since napakataas na niya antay lang tayo ng pullback kung bigyan tayo and bounce that's when I will be recommending it um, I can I can be wrong it could go st still go up right uh, and go to the resistance maybe even break out but uh, not my cup of coffee uh, hindi na po siya pasok sa setups ko talaga can that's why I can't recommend it. I only recommend things that are inside my setup talaga. Um when green si green nag break out. I mean, did it break out or is it at resistance? Nasa resistance I think. Yeah, nasa resistance si green. Look at that. MA20 ren the bounce for green. Now we have a resistance right here. Mahirap na. <laughs> Breakout na lang if gusto nyo pong puwasok kay Green. At least meron kayong support. Si Tech naman, antay lang tayo ng pullback kasi it's, uh, it's very, uh, the moves movements are very massive that we are not able to catch it. Um, I will strongly recommend pullback and bounce for Fen. If that happens, it will be confirming a new support. That's our entry point for Tech. Uh, VUL, Vulcan, and si Vulcan, Challenging rin si Vulcan eh. Right? Um, we do have a support right here for Vulcan. Downtrend pa ang pinapakita kasi ni Vulcan. Lower highs and lower lows. I wanted to stabilize first before. We wanna check out Vulcan. Si Tech, pinag-usapan ba natin yung divergence na um, RSI niya? Yeah. Well, we were talking about RSI of Tech and there it is, ang RSI niya. Did work, di ba? So RSI, dapat nagbodega na tayo kay Tech. Um... Paolo Drew, good morning po. Sir Lloyd, good morning din. Um, Emily Golciano, anong hasay? Anong hasim nika? Son sign nim. Lloyd, I don't know what that means, but I think that means well. That means good. <laughs> good morning po, Emily. King Bakay, kamusta coach? Kamusta good morning coach? Masilip naman kay VLL. Green DMCX coach, pakibati naman lahat ng traders sa Macau. Please salamat. Good morning po sa inyo, mga kapatid natin traders sa Macau. Uh, hopefully, one day, I'll see you there. Right? Gusto ko mamisita ulit sa Macau. It's been a while since I've been there. Uh, VLL, uh, VLL, nagpupullback pa, but it's forming a support right here. You can test it out at this level right here for VLL. Right, for VLL, that's good. Looking good, VLL. Um, green. Sorry, we talked about green already. DMC. Ito si DMC. Inaabangan ko rin ito eh. Right, si DMC, we are at support levels. Abang tayo ng bounce. Pag nag-bounce yan, pwede natin pasukin si DMC. Uh, X naman, 
Ayun, nag-breakdown si X. Iwas muna, very volatile, very b- huge sell-off for X. Um, coach, yan, pakibati naman. Lahat ng traders na makaw, good morning po sa inyo. Paolo, Drew, okay na po ba pumasok kay IRC? Yes, IRC is in one of my recommendations for today. We already see a, or already seeing a bounce and it's very cheap as of the moment. We are playing at support levels. We'll talk more about that later kung pag-usapan na natin ang ang recommendations ko. Francis Fahilan, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Daming nag-new high sa international market kagabi. Tindi, grabe, oo. Um, so, hopefully, you are already trading in the international market. If not yet, then um, try to trade international market. Create an eToro account. Please use my link lang, a little request from my end because my end, because it really helps the channel a lot if you create uh, the, the account using my link. Um, kahapon si Microsoft nag all-time high na naman si MSFT. Tingnan natin ha si NS- MSFT. Ito nag-aabang lang ako ng breakout kay Netflix. Once it breaks out, I'll be uh, we should be able to enter it. Naka-automatic na yan pag nag-breakout, automatic na yan pumas- papasok. MSFT, Microsoft all-time high yesterday, highest it uh it has been at 138 nag pull back lang and went back to resistance. But man, Microsoft has been doing crazily well, right? Kasi lahat ng computer, lahat ng mga negosyo, gumagamit ng halos Microsoft, di ba? Um, loop hide for now. And sila Microsoft, ang daming nag, like, 52 week high yesterday. Grabe, ang ganda na international market, I tell you guys. That's why I am asking you to join us in the international market. Si Dropbox, the DBX, that's why we entered it. Si Dropbox, uh, nag, uh, 52 week high it did a breakout yesterday so automatic automatic entry po yung breakout natin hopefully mag sustain right so that's why we were able to enter dropbox kasi naka, naka set ako na pumasok sa breakout and when it did break out automat- automatically nakapasok tayo i think it's still gonna go up dropbox has been doing well uh let tingnan niyo po first quarter 77% for for the company and it's still playing at the bottom area diba Kaya pinasok ko po si Dropbox. And that's for you. For those who haven't copy traded me yet, um, when you create an account, you there is a way po for me to handle your funds. Pwede po ako mag-trade niyan using copy trading, right? You just look for my name and then cop, click on copy and then set an amount you want me to handle it. Uh, if uh, The amount that you want me to handle. Ako na po bahala mag-trade dyan sa amount na yan. Kukopyahin po niyan ano ang pinapasok ko. Okay, grab it, international market. You should start trading in the international market. Though we are, the coverage for the daily grind is PSE. Uh, I really want to be honest with you. I am transitioning to the international market for trading. Mas madali po mag-trade dito, right? Uh, kaysa po sa PSE. Why? Because of the volume itself. Ang problema sa PSE, napaka-konti ng volume. Yesterday, how much is the volume of PSEI? PSEI. Alright, so PSEI's volume, 2.3 billion lang, 2.3 billion pesos. So, I mean, that's the volume. The value is 5.3 billion pesos. 5.3 billion pesos uh, sa Nasdaq alone in the international market, $2 trillion. Um, you do the math how how big the money is in the international market. Kaya po madali mag-trade sa international market because the volume is there. Marami pong investors. Marami pong investors sa international market. Kaya hirap sa PSE kasi konti lang investors. Doon ang dami investors. Kaya umaakit talaga ang mga stocks. And technical analysis tend to happen. Kung aral kayo ng aral ng technical analysis, then international market is the best place for you to trade. Trade with eToro, right? Um, very helpful for you guys. Uh, I want to invite you to a group of ours called the uh, called the e- Team Itoro Filipinas, right? Team Itoro Filipinas. Search for this. I'll show you to. I'll show this to you. I'll put this in the comments also. Search for Team Itoro Filipinas. Uh, once you're in, just send a request, right? Uh, I'll put the ano. I'll put the link on the chat room natin. Right, so these guys are the admins here. I'm one of the admins, but karamihan po ng mga admins dito. The other admins are uh, Binsky is position trading, this guy right here. Um, others are scalpers, right? Sila, ito mga, mga, mga newbies ito, right? Pra- practice sila, but they're already gaining, right? Um, 
uh, they're practicing scalping. Winston, uh, Jacinto, ito, just want to share the fruits of my learning here in the group. I'm also new eToro, just like you. But look at that. Scalping, 74%, 70%, 55%. Thanks to the leveraging ano, leveraging function of eToro. So, if konti lang pera nyo, pwede po yung lumaki because of leveraging. But you have to handle it properly. Uh, the admins here are teaching how to scalp. But, it is very risky, I tell you, right? Um, it's up to you if you want to test that out. But we're doing our best to help everyone. Gilbert Fernandez, look at this guy. Scalping, USD, BTC. Right, so makikita nyo po dyan, makikita nila. Right, these guys, and then they're, they're teaching. Ayat, si Nico also, uh, practice tayo, parekoy kahit alas dos na umaga. <laughs> Kung PSA ba yung pag dito sa Itoro naman, sobrang saya. So these guys are earning well. Um, applying the strategies that we are teaching. Ito sila Bengski, the admins are teaching. They're teaching how to scalp, basically. The, the, um, just for you, just for you to be, ano, just for, uh, f to give you an idea, this is what we do, right? Um, this is risky, okay? I am not doing this in my real port because I am handling funds. It will increase my risk score. When, when, when the stock goes at the support, they buy it and then they short sell it at the same time, right? They buy it and short sell it um, kasi pag nasa support, pwede siyang umakyat, pwede siyang bumaba. Konting, gama, konting galaw lang, they are, they are, they are, what they call this, they are banking on the small fluctuations when you're scalping. Ang kagandahan kasi na short selling, if bumaba yan, may pera rin kayo. So what you do is, you buy and short it at the same time with large uh, with large uh, leverages, right? Uh, with leverage lang, kay times 10, pwede nyo subukan. Umaakyat it at bumababa. Pag umakyat ng ilang, ilang, pip, ilang, per, uh, ilang percent lang, like 0.2%, kasi you're leveraging it, ang laki po ng times ng, ng gains mo. And then, uh, uh, while it goes up, you sell it, and then yung, yung stock kasi na yan, yung mga, ano, yung mga, commodities, itong asset na ito, umaakit mo, mababa. So, it will also go down. So, when it goes up, you sell. If it goes down, then you gain. You sell also your short sell. So, dun yun lang paglalaruan sa ganyan. <laughs> so, if you are wondering, bakit ganyan, puros green, but this is buy and, buy and short selling and these guys are already earning right here. Um, makita nyo po dyan, sila commodities. Um, buy, yung mga buy positions sila ang kumikita. Right. Um, you can also short sell it if ever mahirapan. But these guys are doing well. You should be able to apply this also should you want to learn. But this is really hard. I want you to practice position trade first because that's being responsible in your, ano, in your, uh, in your trading, uh, in your trading na ano, in your sorry, in your trading development. But join this team. These, the the guys here are killing the international market and we want you to join us we're inviting you to trade in eToro right um i'll go to the charts again king bakay paulo paulo basa natin yan vul aba and prim from blake Aidan Ong, VULs, we always just talked about it. Uh, medyo very volatile pa on that level. I wanted to create a support kasi down downturn pa ang pinapakita ni VUL. ABBA, and si ABBA, we just talked about the MA20. Hopefully, bumalik sa MA20. That's the best entry point. Si Prim naman, recommend ko yan two days ago. And it's already been going up. Actually, no, three days ago. Wait, I recommended it on this bounce right here and umaakit na po. Congratulations. Sa so, mga pumasok, it's not a good time to enter it anymore. Napaka high risk na po na position. So, stay away from that already. Max Magsano, good morning. Sir Lloyd watching from Riyadh, KSA. Good morning po sa inyo dyan sa mga pitid nating OFW sa KSA uh, nasa Middle East. Uh, mabuhay pa ko yun. Napakaaga pa po doon. It's around, eight, around 4 a.m. right now. The Jan. Um, and gumigising sila for the daily grind. Thank you so much po for the support. Uh, sorry. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, mabuhay po kayo. Napakaaga gumigising para lang matuto. ba? It's not easy. Subukan niyo gumising na alas 4 na umaga. <laughs> Hops, sir. Good morning. In inputs for PSEI. I, uh, Hops, 
PSEI is still hitting uh, very near the resistance. Antay lang tayo ng breakout from 8,200. If it sustains a breakout, that's the time to be aggressive and start adding more funds. Right now, uh, play conservatively. Ang pasukin nyo po is nasa baba lang. Huwag kayong gaano pumasok sa mga breakouts because uh, it's not yet time to be aggressive. Um, ISM. Si ISM, abang-abang na tayo sa bounce ng ISM. This is the best time to start buying more. Abangan lang natin uh, saan siya mag-stabilize. Once it stabilizes, pwede na natin pasukin ulit si ISM. Nag-sell off lang ang lahat ng mga nakabodega dito. Mga kaibigan ko, ang dami kong kaibigan na nakabodega dito and na nagbentahan na at around this level right here when it broke MA20. So it's still a gain overall. Uh, about time, ang daming nag-message sa akin kasi nagpanik Sir Lloyd, bakit ang laki na loss ko kay ISM? That is because we entered it at a high level. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, delikado po pag nasa taas. Okay? Especially in the status of the market now na napakakonti lang na investors. Dapat po, the dips, keep buying the dips. I've been recommending it while it's going down na magbodega. Hindi po dapat nung umaakyat na siya. Okay? ISM still going down right now, so this is a good time to average down sa mga naipit at napilitan maging investor kay ISM. I strongly recommend just buying more. If wala na kayong pera to buy more, I have a video about how to average down without adding funds. Check that video out. It should help you on your position. Um, uh, uh, tugs naman, nasa support si Tugs. It's still good to go si Tugs. Did I cover this already? Eh, not yet. Ay, nag-break down pala si Tugs na support. And didn't notice this. I have Tugs. Um, but I am into tags kasi for long term. Um, kasi nagbobodega ako kay tags. So, I've been, I've been banking uh, tags here and then adding more funds here. And then it's collapsing. The support has been collapsing. Laki ng sell-off niya for tags. I'd say I'm still gonna be buying more. But depende po yan sa inyo. Sa mga traders kay tags na in it for short term, you can always cut your losses pag nag-loss yan na malaki. Negative 3.64 pala si tags yesterday. Okay, um, wag muna pumasok kay Tugs if you're asking me to if to enter Tugs, wag muna. It's still um still going down. Right? But divergence, that's divergence levels already. Mas mata, mas maganda na siya at these levels. So, bodega na for me si Tugs actually. Nagbobodega na okay Tugs. Hi thoughts on ISM po. Apaging Lara, we talked about ISM uh, earlier. Ek Kill. Good morning, everyone. How about AEV? Po AEV recommended AEV. Was that yesterday, or I forgot when did I recommend AEV? But the recommendation is keep buying the support. Uh, yesterday, yes, I did recommend AEV. Look at that at the support. Nag bounce din kaagad and now at resistance. Mahirap po yun ngayon kasi nasa resistance on the breakout for AEV. Pag nag breakout yan today, that's when you enter it. Leia ngotchako nyo ngotchako. Um, Tugs po, we just talked about that. Nico Managa, good morning. Guys, a little request from my end. Pakishare po ang video. Please share this video to your friends uh, in your Facebook walls. Para naman yung friends niyo, mas spark yung curiosity. Ano ba itong pinapanood ng kaibigan ko? Eh, stock market, bongga itong kaibigan ko. Hindi. Just to spark the curiosity. Right? Ano to, the moment they ask, what is this? That's already a very big help for, for them. Because it will spark their idea about stock market. Who knows? Maybe they'll get the idea. Now you can already start with the stock market at just five to ten thousand, diba? So please share the video to your Facebook walls and share it to your trading groups. If you have any trading groups there, so local in your like Bacolod or Manila group, a uh, group of traders, Macau traders. Share this, to, share this video to those groups para naman ang mga newbies daon malaman nila there's a program like this that can help them in their stock market journey. Thank you so much. I hope I've earned that request from you guys. Miriam Veloira, good morning, sir. Ask ko lang if stocks is more than 5% loss or 5% gain, sell na ba? Pwede bang cash ka on PA? And lastly, insights on PNB and MRSGI. Depending on your um, risk to reward ratio, around... Ako, nagtitake profits ako, usually start at around 8 to 10% sa BSE because my risk uh, is at around 5%. So around 8 to 10%, I already start selling half of my positions. And yes, on my loss na 5%, um, depende po yan, I usually, my cut loss is negative 3% below support. Yun po yung cut loss ko lagi. Right? Pwede bang cash cow si PA? Um, PA, pwede cash cow? No? 
I don't recommend that. Mas mas stable mo gawing, gawing cash cow. Ito sila OV, sila OPM. Ito sila OV and OPM. These are the best cash cow you can find. Uh, sila OPM. Si OPM kahapon nag 130, di ba? Although, ayan, nag 130 siya kahapon and bumagsak na 120. Pumila kayo dito sa 110. Pwede nyo na ibenta at 120 and 130. Okay, ganun lang. Pero hindi kayo makapasok ka agad. So, GTC lang. Lastly, insights kay PNB, MRSGI. PNB um, did recommend that on the bounce uh, right here. And there it is, kumakit na. Uy, PNB, yes. It's in, is it in my recommendations for today? Um, hindi ko siya na-recommend for today. Let me add that. Alright, I will recommend PNB for today. Pwede na natin testingin ulit ito si PNB actually. Okay, nag-bounce na siya. Okay. Um, MRSGI. MRSGI is uh, going back to support. Antay lang tayo ng bounce before you want to enter it. Sir, okay bang pasukin si BA sa international market? I'm not really sure of the fundamentals of Boeing. Um, ang dami pang bad news kay Boeing right now. Eh. Now, they're, but they're starting to recover. Um, this is looking well actually for Boeing. I really want to see their earnings, the, the next earnings, oh, it nag 4.9%. Kasi may panahon to si Boeing na bumagsak talaga, wala silang earnings eh. Kasi hindi sila pinabenta, di ba? Um, because of the uh, Boeing 747 issues. Mm, we have a good bounce right here. Maybe it would, if we can get a green, you, you can use this support around this level to test it out. Yeah. You can, you can try to test this out for Boeing. Okay? Kasi nag, nag, nag momentum siya one time eh. Kaso nga lang hindi nag break out. So, once it didn't break out, bumagsak siya. And then it's stabilizing again. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. Yes, Boeing is. This is a good entry pag nag green yan. Pwede mo testing in yan. Arjil Mendoza, good morning Sir Lloyd. And Laika, SSP, CHP, and PIP. SSP. I see SSP. Good volume already. Starting to get accumulation volume. Kasi lang bumagsak eh. Bumagsak yung support niya. It's still volatile on the low end. Uh, lower side. I don't want to recommend this yet. Uh, for SSP. Um, CHP. Very volatile pa ngayon si SSP. CHP broke MA20. So, iwas na. Right? Iwas na muna kay CHP. PIP. Um, Alright, PIP, nang pull back pa, antay lang tayo ng bounce. Hopefully, it bounces at MA20, the magic area. Uh, abangan nyo po si PIP. Nico Managa, good morning coach. Please check ISM, Lotto, and JFC. We talked about the ISM already. Abang lang tayo ng bounce to, uh, for seats to stabilize and buy more. Lotto. Lotto, nagtatouch pa sa lower Bollinger Band. So, I think babagsak pa yan. And JFC, si JFC. Wait lang tayo ng breakout. The best entry for JFC is a breakout right here. Just to confirm na it's bullish already. Ngayon, nahihirapan pa si JFC mag-breakout. Eh. WPI is in one of... Ah, si MPI pala yung nasa list ko. Si Waterfront Philippines yesterday uh, climbed so high that it's really hard to test it out. Very good volume though. We have a massive resistance right here. It did break out from that resistance. Nasa taas po tayo naglalaro, best to wait for a pullback na lang. That's already a missed opportunity right there. If you want to go if you want to go aggressive, breakout will be best. I uh, will be okay, but I strongly recommend pullbacks na lang po. Wag po ang um, breakouts diyan sa taas. Uh, insights po kay That's for Providential, Jeffrey Sahagun, insights po kay AXA not really sure what stock is that. Sir Lloyd, itoro how much po dapat minimum na mag stop loss? At least 5% po ba? Amazon po breakout. Yes, Amazon din. Breakout yesterday. Amazing. Whew, ganda ng mga stocks uh, sa international market. Um, I usually cut loss. Um, tight po ang mas, cut, mas tight po ang cut loss ko sa international market. I cut loss at around negative 3% kasi hindi pa ako sanay parang Ang laki pangingan ng dollars kasi. <laughs> Pero in reality, mas malaki pa yung peso accounts ko actually, di ba? Tapos, ang hirap eh. Ba? Pag foreign kasi, hindi pa ako sanay sa dollars. Pag nat nat nakikita ko yung dollars, ang laki na ng talo ko sa dollars. Parang nagpapanik ako. So, I'm still getting used to it. So, I'm keeping my stops very tight. That's why on breakouts pa ako pumapasok. 
Kasi pag breakout, napakalapit ko sa support. I can cut loss at 3%. Doon po ako naglalaro for now. For, that's for Christine Santos. Again, uh, those are the comments that we have right now. Hey, bumaba pala yung comments. Kaya pala hindi ko nabasa lahat. Okay. Hey. Um... Teka lang ha. Kasi bumaba pa lang yung comments. Hindi ko nabasa lahat. Ayun. Si Max Magsano. Sir Lloyd. Mm, Crown, IDC, Land, and LRW. So, let's check out Crown. nag down. That's not a good sign. I would stay away from Crown for now. IDC. Si IDC naman. Alright. Very good. We have a higher high. And then we're waiting for a higher low for IDC. Pag nag-bounce ito anytime soon, you can test it out. For now, wala pa. Si Land naman. Hmm. Break, breaking support. So, iwas na muna kay Bra... Excuse me. Iwas muna kay Land. Uh, it's still very volatile right now. I can't recommend that. LRW. Ito sila LR, LRW. I think uh, magre-recover na naman to at anytime soon. After this very strong climb, tindi naman ang bagsak ni LRW, 1.86 again. But we have a support right here. So anytime soon, pwede na itong bilhin. We ju I'm just waiting for it to stabilize. It's already closing inside the Bollinger Band. So there's lesser momentum on the downtrend na. We'll see, we'll see. Right? We have a backup support right here. So I think this bounce is already good for LRW. Um, I just really want to... Mahirap eh. Mahirap. Very volatile. Yeah, antay lang tayo na stabilization for LRLRW before I wanna recommend it again. Ian Rabaka. Low share, anong price po? Magandang pumuesto for ISM for long term. Actually, any price is good right now if you're a long term uh, if you're a long term trader. Kasi pag, if you say you're long term, what you do is just enter now if it goes further down. Enter. Uh, just keep buying more. Ganun dapat if you're for long term. Oh, you only are picky with your entries if you are a trader. Right? Kasi hindi po natin alam kung mag-bottom ito ngayon. Kung hindi mo pasukin yan ngayon, baka bukas umakit na yan. Or today, umakit na yan. Hindi ka na makapasok. If you're into long term, you don't really care you're about the entries. Antay ka ng bounce. Pag nag-bounce, or if it starts to stabilize, then that's the best entry. We ca I can't say what price is the best entry point for it. Um... Blake Aidan Ong, would you like to add Fess as well? Cheers. Mustay natin si Peachy. Yes, I did recommend that the past few days. Right. Recommended Fess as support. And umaket na si Fess. And now nag bounce sa MA20. Ganda ng mga volume, right? If you can catch it near MA20 again, definitely it's still a buy. Let me show you the chart. Hindi ko pala na share. And mm. <laughs> no choice ako. Need ko ilong turn si. ISM, um, bakit? Bakit hindi kayo nakakat loss? That's the biggest question right there. That's something you need to correct in your trading strategy. I, I, I really, I get messages na, Sir Lloyd, ganito, ganyan, hindi ko nakat loss sa ISM, uh, ano pong gagawin ko? I told them na, if ganyan, naipit na kayo malaki, wala kayong choice talaga. It's to cut loss. But the biggest question is, why were you not able to cut your losses? That's what you need to correct because I know you want to be a trader. And that's one of the skills you need to uh, you need to develop that cutting losses right there. Bakit hindi kayo nakapag-cut loss? One, me one person sent me a message kasi Sir Lloyd, naka-emergency. Delikado po yan. Huwag kayo mag-trade pa ganyan if uh, hindi allowed ng oras ninyo. Okay? Um, if ganyan man, sa international market na lang kayo mag-trade kasi may auto-stop loss, yun yung problema sa PSE. That's why I, I keep telling you guys, if ever alanganin kayo mag-trade, well, um, yung oras ninyo hindi talaga nakatutok I will recommend just trading into international market habang natutulog ako, nagtatrade ako ang ginagawa ko lang is spending order habang nakikimagmeet ako ng mga tao ginagawa ko lang spending order nag-aantay lang ako ng breakout automatically po yan like this one right here I have a pending order for $500 right, hindi pa po nakapasok yan that is for Netflix so, mamayang gabi Kung may ka-meeting man ako, which is I have, may meeting ako mamaya, si Netflix, pag nag-breakout yan, kahit may nakikipag-usap ako sa ibang tao, pag nag-breakout yan, automatically po papasok 
yung si Netflix na yan. It's automatic. And I already set a stop loss just in case yung breakout mag-fail. Right? Na may stop loss na po yan. And I have stop loss on my ports. That's why even if natutulog ako, kampante ako sa trade ko. Right? Um, if you wanna click on this, makita nyo po dyan sa settings. May stop loss ako na negative $14. That's 3% of the position. So, mag, if mag negative $14.71 na ako, automatic po, automatic po lalabas yung position ko. So, this is much better for you guys. I will recommend trading in the international market instead. Huwag sa PSE because of that. If alanganin yung oras ninyo. Okay, Georgina C. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Tell, uh, right, the point there is, ask the question why, bakit hindi kayo nakapag-cut loss? And you have to correct that. If ever, ang sagot ninyo, kasi may trabaho, or I cannot watch the market really that much, then it's not, trading is not for you. It's in the PSE at the very least. Right? You can trade in the international market with eToro na lang instead. Kasi may stop loss doon, may automatic entries, automatic sell, automatic take profits. Kasi meron din dito, nagsasend sa akin ng message. So, really, hindi ako nakapag-take profits na bumaba na ang stock. Right? eToro has auto take profits if you check check this out naka set lang akin na $250 but automatically na mag take profits yan um, I need to edit this kasi usually at around 8% mag take profits na ako sell half but since I can watch the market every now and then yeah, hindi ako nagsa set ng take profits but you can should you really need to good morning coach catch the bounce on MA20 during trading day or EOD this is from a question from Jeff C this is a very good question kasi yan um Dami na tatanong sa akin eh. Sir Lloyd, ano ba maganda during the trading day or during the end of the day? The answer there is it depends on your risk appetite. Okay, because both strategies has their advantages and disadvantages. The advantage of um let me open paint. The advantage of Right, for example, here. So, in the in the middle of the day, what if this is the MA20 line right here? And in the middle of the day, it bounces at MA20. Right? The question is, papasukin ko na ba? On the bounce, during the trading, or wait for it at the end of the day? Okay? Question is, is it depends on uh, to you. Sa risk appetite mo, are you kind of aggressive Person, I would say during the trading day, pasukin yun na po yan because you're already trading it. Um, ang, uh, advantage kasi niyan is what if in the afternoon lumipad siya bigla? Diba? Meaning, nakagain ka na if you enter it at the middle of the day. The disadvantage of it is wala pa tayo, hindi pa yan certain ang bounce niya, pwede pa siyang bumagsak. That's the disadvantage of it. That's part of the strategy. This is the good part. This is the disadvantage. Right. That's for entering at the uh, at the middle of the day uh, of the trading day. Now at the end of the day naman, nag bounce na, e eh, gusto mo end of the day. Ang advantage naman yan is it confirmed it will confirm a conf uh, confirmation bounce, di ba? Ang kagandahan niyan is the next day pag nakita ng mga traders yung bounce na yan at malapit pa sa MA20 papasukin nila yan and tendency is it will go up right so that's the advantage of it because there's the confirmation the next day pwede ka pa mamasok now the disadvantage of this is what if nag-aabang ka ng end of the day pero lumipad na at the end of the day andito na siya sa taas ang laki na ng, ng green candlestick at hindi mo na pwedeng pasukin. Because you were conservative, you missed the opportunity. So, yun din yun rin yung disadvantage niya. Uh, so, it's up to you. You weigh the, uh, you weigh the, ano, you weigh the advantages and disadvantages. Ako, ang ginagawa ko, I enter at the middle of the day. Especially sa itoro, pag nag-break out yan, pasukin ko na yan. I am that, I'm already conservative eh. Nag-aantay ako ng break out. Ayan na yung breakout. Magsusuper conservative pa ako. Maantay pa ako ng additional na confirmation. Breakout for me, pasok na ako niyan. Right? That's my kind of trading. It might not fit yours. If it Depende yan sa risks, appetite ninyo. Okay? So, that's to answer the question. 
Sir, pwede mag-scalping sa Facebook mamaya. Hehe. Yes, maganda naman si Facebook. Kasi because of Libra, that's something very good for Facebook. I think Facebook is still gonna go very high because of the Libra project um, of Facebook. Um, asa na ako? Time check is 8.56. We'll start with my recommendations at around 9 in the morning. Uh, sino ba yung last na nabasa ko? John? Yun. Ito. Georgina C. Tell an RLC po. PLDT has a bounce. This is good for PLDT. You can test out the support of PLDT. This is a double bottom for PLDT. Test out the support. I think it will start to go up. It can go up. Right? Uh, testing in yun po yan. Kasi 1,100 is still very cheap kay PLDT. Right? Tell... RLC Si RLC may resistance na po si RLC dito so breakout lang for RLC. Um John Finnet Plato insights for food hindi to muloy paakyat sa breakout pati na po rin po si SEC. Check out, let's check out food. Yes, hindi nagtuloy-tuloy nag breakout kasi nga lang nag-fail. Sadly it happens in the stock market. Um right now uh still volatile on the downtrend. Um if na hit yung cut loss niya if you use a breakout strategy, you cut your losses, okay? We cannot control the market kahit breakout yan. There's a chance na hindi magtuloy-tuloy yan. So just cut your losses. Ganun lang. The reason why you're seeing this score that I have in the international market, if you check out my statistics, meron tayong talo pero tignan nyo po ang talo natin. Just 0.90%, 0.31%. Very minimal losses because I always cut my losses. And year to date, I am already up 15%. So... That's the beauty of cutting losses. If ever mali yung ano ninyo, if ever mali po ang um, ang haka-haka ninyo or yung technical analysis ninyo, don't worry about cutting losses because your wins are gonna cover up for those losses. Just keep cutting your losses if ever mali kayo. Don't worry about those. Okay? Kasi yung mga panalo ninyo, babawiin yung talo ninyo. Never allow yourself to lose big. Kasi if I ever allow myself to lose big, baka mag 1%, 2%, 3% ito, and that is gonna eat up my gains at wala na ang purpose ng trading ko. Talo na. Right? If ever ganun ang ginawa ko. That's why I always cut my losses so that my wins are still heavier than my losses. Okay, insights po kay food. We already read about, I'll read that. We already checked the chart. Laser insights kay MPI and Meg. MPI is in my recommendations for today. Si Meg. And si Meg naman. Get in sa support is sure if you really want to. Um, this is this made a 52-week high just recently. All-time high ba yan? Or 52-week high? Yan, all-time high pala yung ginawa ni Meg. If you wanna enter, support lang po. Hopefully, gumawa siya na support. John Vincent Pleto insights for AMD. AMD's been doing well. I'm just waiting for another entry entry for AMD. AMD. Right, it's in my watch list. Um, naantay ko yung breakout ni AMD eh, kasi may resistance tayo dyan. That's gonna be an all-time high level, but AMD is receiving um. Uh, AMD has been giving, ano, giving us good, ano, good, uh, good returns. So AMD, nag-aabang lang ako ng either pullback or a breakout from AMD. Okay. Um, Blake, I don't know. AMD is definitely in my, ano, in my, uh, in my watch list. Nag-atang, nag-aabang lang ako ng entry points. Hmm. Prim, please, si Prim, masyado mataas na si Prim. Um, Antayin lang tayo ng next na pullback niya. I did recommend it here. Masyado mataas na. Wala natin position dyan. Good morning, coach. From Jeff C. When you say get in near MA20 on bounce uh, to keep your risk low, is it EOD during the day starting to bounce? Kasi there are times it bounces and opens and breaks down MA20 EOD. Right. So, y- yun yung diniscuss natin kanina. I, all, I usually enter EOD. I mean, I mean no, not EOD. In the middle of the day, for example, si Aba, tingnan niyo po si Aba, the bounce of MA20 and then tumuloy-tuloy na, right? Just focus on the positive, pasokin niyo po yan, right? Especially on a good stock, right? Kasi pag good ang stock na yan, high chances are it's gonna sustain at the bounce, right? Yun nga lang, disadvantage, you just mentioned it, pwede siyang bumaba, but 
also pwede siya umakyat. There are always two sides of the coins. If bumaba man at mali ka, just cut your losses. Okay? So, it's up to you. I always enter in the middle of the day once I see the bounce starting or the breakout started. Sa uh, sa sales or sales, morning sir Lloyd, Meg, thanks, we talked about that already. So, it's 9 o'clock. I'm gonna go to my picks really quick. Uh, just for your reference, let me put my picks on the chat room right there. Uh... Right, is that fixed? Right, much better. Um, kasi yung kalbo ko naka focus eh. <laughs> All right, my picks for today. Number one, um, no particular order. PHA, si PHA MA20 bounce right there. Nag sustain sa MA20 niya. That's a buy. This, this is the dip that we were waiting for. That's the time to test it out. Ang recommendation ko is magbodega. These are bodega entries, even trading entries. That's still good for trading for PHA. IRC for today, nag-bounce na po tayo and we're playing near support levels. So, time to bodega, IRC. It has very good projects as of the moment. So, that should help it climb. Si AGI naman, I'm recommending, one of my favorites, if you will ask me, ano ba favorite ko for today? Uh, AGI, one of my favorites. Um, this is a good entry point for AGI. Ay, hindi. No, not really my favorite. Kasi yung risk-to-reward ratio, parang ano lang eh. Uh, just enough. But AGI is a good company. Kaya lang gusto ko. May, may bias ako on my very good companies. AGI is a good company. NRCP. NRCP. Um, very strong performance last year. Closed the year with 79%. First quarter earnings, very strong. 274%. That should help the stock. Um, we are at Stabilization level. So, napaka-stable po ng presyo na yan. Uh, pwede nyo po pasukin. Pansin ko lang, Sir Lloyd, sa international market, most stocks nag-breakout tuloy-tuloy. Unlike sa PSA, means and breakdown. I guess very effective breakout strategy sa global markets. Yes, definitely. In the global markets, I'm using breakout strategies kasi napakaganda ng stocks. Hindi tayo binibigyan ng mga pullbacks. Gaano? Right? Tingnan nyo po sila Google. Uh, sila. For example, yung pinasok natin si Facebook, si FB. I entered it on a breakout strategy is because kung mag-pullback yan, napakaliit lang ng pullback. Kung intayin mo pa yan sa baba, abutin ka ng siyam-siyam. <laughs> and it was playing already at resistance level, so I guess it won't pull back anymore. Um, that's why we set it at a breakout strategy. And true enough, um, nagtuloy-tuloy yung, um, nagtuloy yung breakout niya. We're, we're already up 1.29%. Breakout strategy is very effective in the international market. Test it out, guys. I tell you. Practice nyo po sa, uh, practice nyo po. Create an eToro account and just go to the virtual portfolio. Makikita nyo po ang difference sa PSE and international market. Okay? Tignan nyo po. Testing nyo po. Uh, please may create an account using my link. Yun lang. Yes, very effective ang international uh, ang breakouts in, sa global markets. NRCP, my picks for today. Next is RRHI. You can check it out. Um, RRHI nag sustain po yung breakout niya. This was the previous breakout uh, support and there it is. Umaakit siya. Still good to get in RHI after confirming the breakout and that breakout is still very low uh, at low level. So I'd say yes, it's a buy for RHI. Hopefully mag-sustain yung breakout niya. It's already been sustaining. You know, confirm naman yan the past few days. China Bank, we're back at our support level. The previous breakout, this was where we recommended China Bank lumipad siya. For the breakout, and then we're back at that support. Kakabans niya lang. I'd say we'll, it's time to test it out again for CHIB. Uh, MPI, si MPI po, MA20 confirmation. Though there's a resistance right here, so that's kind of challenging, but MPI overall is still very cheap. So I'd say yes, this is still okay. Um, kasi ang ganda ng volume ng consolidation niya. Uh, there's good volumes, uh, there's good stable volume on that area. That's why I'm recommending the MA20 of MPI. Um, MBT. MBT may bounce na po. And very good volume spike on that bounce. Huwag po natin sasayangin yung signal na yan. That's a buy already for MBT. Bodegahin yun na po yan sa Metro Bank. And lastly, si PNB. PNB. Yeah, i-add ko lang po ito. We have bounce for PNB on the pullback. I guess this is the pullback and bounce that we're waiting for for PNB. Okay. Um... Those are my picks. Let me go back to your request. Uh, before we go back pala, uh, July 20 po, andyan po tayo sa Davao. 
morning is going to be Financial Freedom 101. Uh, it's going to be, I'm going to be teaching you how to attain financial freedom, right? Uh, stories from, inspirations from my, inspira uh, my inspirations, um, strategies that I applied in my financial journey that brought me to a level where I am able to do what I want to do whenever I want to, okay? So I'll teach you that also. Mastering your cash flow, how to get how to get rich in the stock market, introduction to the stock market. If you have friends in Davao, let them invite them to join. It's gonna be a very fruitful seminar para hindi po sila mahirapan sa finances nila in the future. Also, um, in the afternoon is the trading masterclass where I teach my trading strategy systematically. Right, July twenty po, don't miss out on that. And dun po sa Facebook page ko ang registration. All right, um, please register and I'll see you there. Um, August 4, Rome, Italy. Mga kapatid natin OFWs from in Rome, Italy. Kita kits po tayo dyan. Okay? Um, those who are not in those areas that I mentioned, if you want to gain access to my seminars on demand whenever you want to, whenever you need to, there is streaming available for it. Um, send me a message so I can give you the details on how to get access to those seminars, right? Um, to those videos sa seminar. Napakamura lang po ng seminars ko sa, uh, with eToro. It's sponsored by eToro. Thank you so much, eToro, uh, for making this happen. Grab the opportunity po, right? King Bakay, coach, see you soon in Macau. Libre kita. <laughs> Oy, I'll hold on to that, right? King Bakay, right? CPG po. Libre yun eh. Why not, di ba? CPG po. All right, let's check out CPG. And si CPG MA20 Bounce, this is good for CPG. It's mixed emotions right now. Ito yung problema ko if dito tayo maghahabol sa taas po. There's a resistance right here though it is giving us a buy signal right here. As long as you can get in at a very low risk, why not? Pero napakalit na lang po ng reward natin dyan ha. I don't wanna recommend that anymore. Tagal ko na na-recommend yan si CPG. Don't wanna recommend it anymore right there. Very strong resistance right there. Baka hindi siya mag-sustain on that resistance. Emily Golds, nagliparan ng mga stocks sa international market, sir. Siya naman ang baba ni BTC, tas nakatulugan ko po ayun, ipit ako. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, um, that's the reason why I am not trading BTC anymore. Ang problema ko kay BTC is this one right here. Look at this right here, okay? On your screen, let me check. Uh, this is my virtual port. If I trade BTC, sa sobrang, sa sobrang volatile niya, Ang stop loss na ina-allow lang ni BTC is what if I enter $1,000 $1, uh, times 1 leverage, um, stop loss ko. For example, magkano ba ang gusto nyong i-cut loss lang natin kay, kay Bitcoin? For example, sa $1,000, we want 10% lang, which is $100. So, negative $100. Uh, negative $100. Ano, dapat amount pala. Negative $100. $100. Look at that. Stop loss amount cannot be <laughs> hindi po pwede ang 100. Why? Stop loss amount can't be higher than ano, so 25% po ang cut loss ni Bitcoin. That's too much risk for me. Hindi Pag nakatulog ako, ayoko mag-loss ng 25%. Tapos pag nag-loss 25% talo. And then magla naman magbabounce. That's too much risk for me. That's why I'm not trading Bitcoin. If you want to get in Bitcoin, get in as an investor. It's now at 11,900 which is mura na. But be ready to be an investor. It's very volatile so I can't recommend it for trading. Anime Addict Sir Lloyd, good morning. Pacheck po. VUL ABA B Core. VUL. Alright. So Vul Vulcan. Very volatile pa for now. I can't recommend it. ABA masyado mataas na po. Si B Core. Bcore gap down. Right, so too volatile for Bcore right now. I don't want to recommend it yet. Okay, um, may nag ask Blake Aidan Ong, si WPI, masyado mataas na po yan. Um, Vul Aba and Bcore, yan. Si Bcore, very volatile on the downside. Tech Pusser, it's a missed opportunity. Let's wait for the pullback and bounce before po natin pasukin. Gio Peter Sebastian, sir, good morning. See you soon, Dari sa Davao. Hey, pwede at insight sa eToro scalping during Davao talk. Sige, sure. Uh, we'll talk about that. I'll I'll include that in the module. Right, Geo Peter. 
Right. Motoflute, good morning po, good morning din. Mars Lascaban, Ion Tags PHA. Si Ion, this is a good company right here. So Ion, uy, I made 20 bounce for Ion. This is a good for Ion, guys. Um, pag nag-green yan, definitely I'll be recommending that tomorrow. Pwede nyo pong gawing aggressive, you can enter today. Tags, we talked about that. PHA is in one of my picks for today. It's a buy for PHA. King Bakay, coach, pakibati naman. Si Patulo ng Okura, Macau. Bago lang po siya pag-trade. Thanks, coach. Hello. Um, Patulo right, ng Okura. <laughs> eh, Elma Barbudo, MPI entry po. Uh, actually, just enter it right away. Uh, for MPI, as much as possible, get near MA20, that yellow line right there. But that's already good. Uh, for those conservative ones, you can wait for a breakout. Breakout strategy should be um, a better confirmation. Pero mas lesser na lang ang wins ninyo. I'd say use MA20 as your support since the stock is on an uptrend. We are playing on the trend line of MPI. Good day, Kenneth Garibay. Blake Aidan, can you also share if a fellow already have a stock? What is the best action? Not just mga wala pa. In, in my honest opinion lang po. If a fellow already have a stock, what is the best action? Ah, okay. If ever you already are in the stock, what is the best action? Best if, if you have that kind of question, post it on the comment, right? Sir Lloyd, I entered at this stock and ipit ba ako or it's still consolidating, what is the best action? So I know what to uh, explain to you. Okay, kasi marami pong situation kasi I don't want to go through all the situations on what to do. Let let me know your situation so I can go directly to the situation and what to do. Okay? Aris de la Peña, good day sir. Web SSI po, more power. God bless. Thank you so much. Um Web. Right, si Web nagpo-pull back pa. That's why I don't want to recommend it there. We're talking about it at MA20. Abang ulit tayo sa MA20K Web before we wanna recommend Web again. SSI, SSI, mahirap ni SSI, nasa taas tayo naglalaro. Uh, Siyadong mahal na si SSI for me. I cannot recommend that anymore. But, because of the inflation news, SSI is one of the most affected stock when it comes to inflation. Ang ganda na inflation news natin. So that could help SSI. If you really want to test SSI, maybe um, get in this support right here if ever balikan man niya si support na yan. That's the best entry point. Kasi may resistance tayo ngayon kay SSI. Not worth your risk to reward ratio. So you want to enter SSI. Ngayon. Um, Sin Lord. Hi sir. Good morning. Time check. It's 9.13. Sir, sir. Good morning. Good morning then. Long term picks ni po. Maliban kay Ali GFC SMPH. BDO. I want to add BDO. And then ATN for sure. And then speculative long term is ISM. Those I can uh, recommend to add on your list. Um, semi long term si PHA. R. Deluge. Chua. Hi, Sir Lloyd. Pag set ng order sa buy, naturo mo na. Pero yung pag sell sa itoro, paano po ba? Hindi pa, hindi na antay. Alright. Um, yeah, you can do that. Um, here. For example, we wanna buy Facebook, FB. Diba? Trade. At sige Netflix, kasi si Netflix, nag-aantay tayo ng breakout, di ba? Netflix. Netflix Incorporated. So Netflix, if we look at the chart of Netflix, there is a resistance right here at 385. 385 is the resistance. So we want to enter above that. So maybe around 387 or 388. Okay, so now, we're ready to buy Netflix. Netflix at breakout. So you click on trade. Um, go to the rate. Ito, di ba? So, 388, ilagay natin. 388. Kasi that's, that's our planned entry point. 388.0. Right? The amount is, let's say, $1,000 lang, for example. Right? And then, leverage. Always check your leverage. Na marami ng beses na ako nagkamali dyan. Um, check the leverage. Times 1 lang for newbies. Right? And then, your stop loss. Click on your stop loss para mag-auto sell. I always click on amount. So, sa $1,000, if I want to risk... 3% uh, 3% so 3% of 1,000 is around $30 right so negative $30 so that's 3% of the position amount that's for auto sell for stop loss okay and then my take profits is dito po automatically sell so that $1,000 magkano po yung gusto mo rate uh, or Kasi rate, pwede dito tingnan mo. So rate, hanap tayo ng next resistance. If next resistance is right here, so at around 419, gusto mo ibenta, balikan mo si, bit, uh, si, ano, si 
uh, itoro. Then click on rate and then ano yun? Anong, anong rate yun? 4 to 1. So you want to sell it at 4 to 1. Change the amount and change it to 4 to 1. So if it reach, reaches the price of 4 to 1, mag automatically sell po yan. That's 8.51% of the position. Okay? Or you can change the amount also sa $1,000 mo. Gusto mong manalo ng, uh, ng, ng $100. Pwede naman. That's 10% of the position. It's either that and then just set order and automatically, automatic na po yan. Nasa pending order na tayo and then kahit natutulog ka tapos ma-hit niya within the day mag 8% or 10%, bebenta niya kaagad yun. Kahit natutulog ka. That's how easy it is to trade in the international market. This is what I'm doing so that I can also uh, accommodate really um, basically what we want to do is enjoy our life, di ba? And Itor is providing us this uh, this opportunity to be relaxed on our trading, hindi na kailangan bantayan. Automatic trading because of those things that I just showed you. That's why I love trading here. I get to trade, apply my strategies, and be relaxed at the same time. I don't have to really fully watch the market. Pwede nyo po, it's your option to do day trade. I invite you to the eToro, Team eToro Pilipinas. My colleagues there, my friends, very good friends, are teaching how to scalp there in eToro. You can learn that also should you really want to really make trading your career na scalping talaga kayo. I cannot do that because it will rocket my risk score. Pwede po natin gawin but I don't want to kasi I'm, I'm a fund manager now basically. And I can't do that. I don't want to play risky uh, positions on my on the money that I am handling. Pero pwede po yun. Okay? That's very nice in the international market. Apply it. Uh, try it. Try it out. Half a day. Good morning, Sir Lloyd from Macau. May I know how do you select your support and resistance on the chart? Um, I am an aggressive player, so I usually already check this support and abangan ah, ko na po yan pag nag bounce. If that bounces, then that is a confirmation of the support. Okay. Once the price is hit twice and it goes up from there that's already considered a support the more times the price is hit and bounces there the stronger that support is okay and resistance then same resistance this is my possible resistance since why not the uh, the price reached that level before before selling off that's my possible resistance if it goes down from that area then that confirms my resistance jeffrey sahagon inside spokai manuelin is that in the international market i don't know that company ah. manuelin Wala, walang ganyan. Manuelin. Walang lumalabas. Jeffrey. Uh, Mark J.P. Gonzalez. Uh, Sir BPI and EEI. BPI is in one of my picks talaga. Just Bodega BPI. Si EEI, no, not there. It's BPI. Time check, 919 yan. Si BPI, Bodega na po. Na showing us good greens already. Confirmation of supports. Alright, don't miss that opportunity to enter BPI. EEI naman. Uy, MA20 bounce for EEI. Yes, I saw this. EEI is doing MA20 bounce. Ang problema ko kay EEI, napakataas na. If you're an aggressive player, why not? I usually look at stocks na nasa baba pa. But yeah, why not? It's still on an uptrend. The trend is your friend. EEI, go ahead with EEI. Napaka low risk po niya ngayon. That's the beauty of it. You can test it out. Hindi ko lang nilagay sa recommendations kasi medyo mataas na. Ah, manual life pala, hindi manualin. Right, Jeffrey Sahagon. Um, not to be biased, manual life is a good company also. Um, I have checked all the, ano, uh, all of the uh, insurance companies. Yes, may pakulo ang iba't ibang companies but why did I choose Pro Life? it's because of this you can ask all other agents out there why did I choose Pro Life? value for your money okay oh, Pro Life is the only insurance company who ha, uh, na may VOL program na VOL meaning variable life insurance that is protection and savings uh, and investments at the same time I recommend you have that before going to stocks Pro Life because it is the only company that if ever you're hit with the critical illnesses or even your other deals with the life insurance part of it the critical illness 
or the uh, disabled disability si pro life lang po ang ibibigay both right both na sum assured if you know what sum assured is ito yung kontrata mo if something happens to you ito yung ibibigay ni pro life sum assured plus yung fund value di ba may investment part ang VUL both po yan ibibigay ni pro life sa inyo so if you have 1 million na 1 million na guaranteed amount and then your investment side of your uh, of your of your uh, policy has funds already has fund value already let's say 500,000 na yung naipon mo and it's been growing pro life is going to give you the 1 million and the 500,000 other insurance companies only will give you whichever is bigger. So if 1 million ang sum assured mo at 1.2 na yung uh, fund value mo, meaning the investment side, yung fund value po na ibibigay, which is 1.2 million. ProLife will give you the 1 million plus the 1.2 million. That's why I choose ProLife because I really want to look for the best insurance when I invite people to join insurance. I'm a fund man, I mean, I'm a financial advisor and fund manager at the same time now. And I only choose the best for you guys. That's why I will recommend Pro Life. You can send me a message if you want me to be your agent. Apple and I will be is a team. And <clears throat> kami po ang bahala sa inyo. Should you really want to get a VUL, I really recommend you get a VUL before you start investing. Bakit po? Little lesson sa the last the rest of our <clears throat> the rest of our time. Lagay ko na lang po dito sa uh, what they call this uh, financial advising. Kasi yung mga tao, um, I have so many followers, I have so many students na nag-invest ka agad. Right? People are very aggressive when it comes to investing. Right? The problem with that is, if ever inuna niyo po yan before protection, you're gonna be, you're gonna end up wasting your time. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna name a friend of mine. <clears throat> but, meron po ito, story po niya to. A family, um, Umuwi po yung dad niya lagi as a seaman. His dad is seaman. Whenever he, his dad comes home, may ipon po because of the sweldo, ang laki na sweldo, pinibili po nila ng pump boats for tourism, yung pang island hopping na, na bangka. Eh, that is, that, that's a hefty amount. Ang laki po yan. So, these pump boats are making them earn money, right? They already have around six by that time. So, ang ganda na ng buhay nila. Na one day, na stroke yung dad. Right? Since inuna po nila ang investments, wala silang ipon, they need a big amount. Ano po ginawa nila? They had no choice but to sell the pump boats. And because they need the money right away, they had to sell it at a low price. So, lugi na from that point pa lang. And then, after that, the dad did survive. Pero, ubus lahat ng investments, the dad could no longer go overseas for being a seaman because hindi na siya, hindi na siya uh, fit to work. So the family from a very good position, lagapak. Right? Lagapak talaga. And they had to, uh, as in very low, that they had to work again and sell sa market. Ganun po. And I don't want that to happen to you guys. Right? If you go, uh, if you go to uh, aggressive and investing, you might end up wasting your time. It can hit you. Uh, it, you can be uh, lucky with that. Or, kumalasin kayo, you end up wasting your time at pamilya niyo madadamay. Right? That's why I really want you guys to get a VUL program. Consider it. Yung VUL program, for, for, for that family, I, I talked to, I talk to uh, the member. Sabi ko sa niya, if only, even if yung Twenty, uh, kalahati lang ng kita ng isang pambot linagay natin sa insurance kahit pa dalawang beses lang kayo nakakuha ng insurance that would have saved the family may pera to cover for the may for the operations and then after that the family survives kasi andyan pa yung pambot protected yung mga pambot kahit hindi na siya makapag, maging seaman andyan naman yung pambots na kikita pa sila so the family would have survived that's why responsible investing po right not too aggressive on your investing uh, anyways, VUL programs are investments naman kasi. So, it can be your retirement uh, planning naman. Right? For long term. Right? Um, 
we still have time. Tapos na yung time natin, 9.26. Sorry I took up time on that, but I really, uh, that's really one of my advocacy. Really, responsible investing, where to put your money. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow. It's a Thursday. Market is testing out the resistances again. So I won't, hindi po ako mapapagod, mag-remind sa inyo, it's not yet time to go aggressive. Don't be aggressive on PSE. Right? Wag po yung mga nasa resistance ng mga stocks. Wag po yung mga nasa tuktok na. Kasi konti lang po investors, hindi po magsusustain yan. And most probably, it's gonna crash down because walang investors. So don't go aggressive right now. Doon po tayo sa mga stocks na nasa baba pa. Yun yung paglaruan natin. That's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time. Hope you learned a lot today. Let's get rich together. Bye, everyone. You're welcome.